This is the Everyday Hustle Show, where our number one priority is self-development. Each week, we will dive into insightful topics that encourage you to push your thinking beyond average. Smash that subscribe button and tune in every Sunday at 6 p.m. Welcome once again. Tomorrow, not everybody. Good evening. Welcome once again to the Everyday Hustle Show. What episode is this, Chris? 74? Episode 74, brought to you by your host, Andrew Lies. I wonder if anyone even listens to the podcast anymore. Christian Blaise. Does anybody listen to the podcast? Jason Dewey. I do. I haven't listened to an episode of ours in a year. Because I'm here. <laughs> what the hell? Wow, dude. So what do we do today? Je- Jess, dude, tell... I Tell took people. such sexual pictures of Helena <laughs> on the streets of Lake Worth. Yeah, we met up. Um, you're not going to believe this. What happened? Look at this. What happened? It's not very, something on his phone. This is not right very now. entertaining what for our got? guests. Yeah, dude. This is the, what is it, Climax? You're like, what is it? What happened? No, I want to show you how many. Oh, you got Libsyn up? Drew's got Libsyn up? Yeah, yeah, because I'm, I'm checking the stats on the podcast to see if anyone, you know, I was like, oh, is anyone even listening to it? This is May 23rd. Oh, shit. Yeah, look. What do we got, dude? Tell everybody. 57 downloads in one day. When? In one day? Yesterday? May 23rd. When is that? That was Wait, yesterday. That's, that's today. today. We had 57 downloads today. Are we blowing up, boys? No. That's today? Nobody gives a fuck, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get real, dude. Get freaking real, dude. That's today. Wow. Huh. But I wonder what's what... What's like the... Uh, what's the average, though? Is that just like a one day? Who the fuck's downloading today? Who the fuck are you? Name yourself. If you're out there and you're listening to the podcast, we appreciate you. Christian Cigar just started pulling... After um, finally, you know. dude, he's been fucking boating for like six days now. So here's what we're gonna talk about tonight, fellas. We're not gonna waste any mother flipping time. Mother freaking time, dude. This is a topic that's been talked about many times, but today I experienced it full force. Okay, so check it out, Christian. Whenever you're ready to join us, put your phone down. Just let me know, okay? Yeah, dude. Fucking unplug for. French sake. Guy can't, he can't let go for five seconds, you for know? fucking French sake, dude. Well, you better tell her that you're busy for the next 30 minutes. His fiance. So. His fiance. We were um, filming a little banger for the boys out here. And the girls. Lane was there. We are filming a video. And I want to talk about living in your passion tonight. Living in your passion. Mm. Because here's what I experienced tonight. And this is how I know that video work is my passion. A complete and utter loss of time. And and what's like a word for like knowing what's going on around you? Oh, fucking awareness. Awareness, dude. right. A complete sake. loss of time and awareness of literally everything in my life. Dude, like... We were out there for like two, three hours, and I told Jen that we'd be home in like four. I was like, we'll be back in like 45 minutes, you know? Well, I figured we'd grab a... We, no, she she's not pissed. we grab a quick taco, we film a couple clips, and we're home. I figured there was, uh, you know, an hour and a half was enough, you know? Yeah, I mean, there were two brown people, Christian and Helena, so the tacos kind of outweighed any kind of American food. Yeah, but then like we just started filming, and like I was directing, and Christian was filming, and we were vibing, and we were going, and like... I was vibing. Dude, we were out there for a few hours and we didn't even like, I mean, like, it's just crazy to me. I probably took 300 pictures. And Jesse's not even a photographer, but he was so engulfed in the moment that he became a photographer. And Helene was so engulfed in the moment. I looked, I turned around one second. She's on the curb waving her hair. Letting it blow into the wind, yeah. looking like a brown goddess. A fucking brown goddess. So, and you know what I really want to talk about is when you aren't living in your passion 
and you know what your passion is, it makes me mad, boys. It makes me mad. Mm. Sometimes I feel like I picked the wrong business to start, you know? Not mad, but, like, sometimes I'm, like, I'm, like, trying to get this business going to, like, get to this other one. So it's, like, but I have also been, like, I'm giving it everything that I have into the juice bar, you know? So, but, like, I just want to make videos, you know? Every day I come home and I watch YouTube while I put Layla down for her nap. And, like, I just see these guys I'm making a living on YouTube. And, like, there's this one dude who's doing really well. And, like, he's building a studio. And he's, like, he's like, this is where we're going to have the production. And this is where we're going to have the backdrop. And this is where we're going to have the podcast. And they got a podcast studio. Got, and it's just, like, dude, like, I want to do that, you know? So I want to hear your guys' takes on that. I want to hear what your passion is if you have figured it out how are you going to get to a point where you're going to do that for a living and if you haven't found it yet what are some things that you're doing to to try new things to try to find that because i know that you guys and this might be hard to you know really um internalize but i know that you guys are both dedicating a lot of time money energy and a good portion of your life into something that you're not going to be doing forever and you're definitely not uber passionate about like i know that like you know and i don't mean that in an insulting way to me and this might be a hard conversation to have but you're talking about me i'm talking about both you guys all of us you know i think and i and i think that there's people out there that that need to hear this type of shit you know so i want i want to know what you guys got i just want to say that my favorite part of uh video shoots is just one like Andrew just yells at Christian, dude. <laughs> it's fucking so good. Yeah, I couldn't get that line it's out so to good, save dude. my Andrew life, bro. It's like, this is your last fucking taste, <laughs> motherfucker. Yo, I got it, though. And he, yo, you put the pressure on the motherfucker, and what happened? It he was said like the fucking line. Five takes, dude. It wasn't that bad. I'm horrible at... at I'm That's really, how I know that I'm supposed to be director, boys. No, nah, you, you fit in, dude. You fit right into that fucking role. I'm, uh, I'm horrible at, like, saying lines. Like if I have to fucking, if I have if there's, to fucking get on camera, I just can't act natural. If there's nothing sexual in the in the lines, then you're just you're like not I, gonna get it. Yeah, every time I screw up a line, though, I finish it with like, "This is the <laughs> embodiment of human sex." <laughs> Something like, wrong with that boy. Our podcast is here to shed light on creative sex. What? The? Something like that. Yeah. You, know? you, you think you should be on Howard Stern or what? No, but Howard Stern is God, dude. He's, you know, like radio talk show or stuff like that. No, I'm not. Sm- I don't have like, like, uh, well, who did we just watch? Uh, what's his name? Theo Vaughn. Theo Vaughn. <laughs> no, I can't think on the ball. Oh, like those guys. comedian. Those guys, those guys are just they're on top of their game. The shit that comes out of my brain is like random and odd, but it's not consistently funny. Sometimes it's just more weird than it is funny. <laughs> You know, so it's no, I couldn't do that. Yeah, it's a tough gig. Yeah. Well, I think just like I mean, anything you know, it it just takes time. Like anything that you do, and you have to like literally. So if if you're like passionate about something, you have to literally be ready to, I mean, go years without, you know, I mean, possibly some people you know have the overnight success, but I mean, I think for the majority, if if you're gonna try something or you want to do like be a comedian or something like that. You have to put years and years of like, you know, putting in work. Mm. 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 But yeah. but you love your job, don't you? I mean, my job is my job. I I like my job. Could you see yourself doing that forever? Mm, yeah. Yeah. It's a career. If if you had a choice, would you do that forever? Like, if you could be whatever the heck you want. Well. If you could be whatever you want, no. Do whatever you want, however you want to say it. If you could do whatever you want and make the same amount of money that I make, yeah, I could potentially make doing what I do. What would no. you do? I don't know. Something with audio engineer, be uh, like a producer. No, I'd probably do something like even cooler than that. Like if you had a choice, like you'd want a fucking cool job, dude. I'd be like a fucking fluffer at a porno <laughs> scene or something like that. No, I'd uh, <laughs> I'd figure something out, dude. Though, like some 
something with uh, like production of TV movies like that would to me would seem. I mean, I don't know because I've never done it, but that would seem awesome. Yeah, who wouldn't want to fucking work on like movies and shit? Travel around, do fucking. Every time I turn Netflix on, I'm like, I want to work for this company. Yeah, I mean, there's... because they have the like, they have the sickest shit. Like, dude, I don't know if you guys notice this type of shit, but did you notice that their little intro thing where it goes da da? It's different now. Yeah, it changed. It, and it's like it's a red N. Yeah, and it comes in towards you, and the stripes are like flying by. Do you notice yeah, that? Yeah, it changed like a couple months right. ago. Yeah, I'm just like, dude, who fucking thought of that? Like, it's so cool, yeah. you know? But, like, that's another thing, too, is, like, I don't think I'd want to work for a big company like that. But I think that in that industry, like, if you could get a job on a project working for, you know, someone like that, that'd be sick. But, yeah. dude, I mean, Jesse, maybe we'll be in business with each other, you know, down yeah. the road. I could have a massive... A media production company and need a steady guy who just does audio you provide dental insurance health insurance of course no, everything dude yeah i just don't know you know i think all this stuff would be cool but to me i'm like i feel like i missed you know i missed the boat should have been something i should have got into at a younger that's age a problem, dude. stuck that's a with problem. it that's a problem well dude. it's not like a you know to be 31 years old and want to learn how to like fucking work in a movie atmosphere you i mean like christian said you have to spend for first jobs like this entertainment like intern and shit intern you know like you got you know you got your your thing going with the the audio i'm not saying that it's never going to fucking happen that's not yeah. what i'm saying because you already you already put you've been putting time in and right now you have another business that you're growing and this is something you're doing uh, you're passionate about and you're doing you're putting in the time but like it would have to be something I'd have to dedicate a lot of time to either have another job and dedicate time and do all this but you know to work in movies or audio or anything like that like it it takes time and you have to like make shit money for a while before yeah you know you Build catch a break ranks. what if you didn't have to do that what if i landed this huge job right let's say i land this huge job i'm talking like six figures right okay six figure job i'm running the video production i got it all lined out and i say jesse i got this gig right now i could pay you 50,000 for 9 months Nine months of work. And you could hone in on your craft. Right? And this is the reason why I say this. There's a there's a program that Adobe does. Okay? And you might mm-hmm. actually be able to do this. Any of us can do it. It's called the Creative Residency Program. Yeah, probably more than me more so me than Christian. Because Christian's a real piece of shit. Just kidding. Jesse's mind is just so limited sometimes, you know? <laughs> That's the reason why we have the podcast, to try to unchain that bitch and let it fly. Yeah. Listen, they pay you for a year, salary, insurance, everything, to go create shit, do whatever you want, work on projects. But you have to apply for it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, they don't just let any... Yeah. Yeah. Any piece of shit just can't fucking do it, you know? So, but how sick is that, you know? That's awesome. But, like, there's things out there like that that you don't know about, so... But the reason why I say that is, um, you know, just sometimes it takes that one decision of going all in, you know, and just think about how much you would learn and how much time you could dedicate if you had a year's worth of salary, you know, expenses paid, all that stuff, and you had a year just to work on your craft. Do you think that if you had that year to work on your craft and hone in and get gear and, you know, that you would not need that? segue of uh, interning and all this shit like would you need it still maybe not but you're talking about my life personally no barney's life (laughs) the purple dinosaur because my life personally and currently i have a pretty good thing going with with my job and the potential opportunity in the next uh few years and not only 
not only you know that but there's other perks that are with my current job that you know if it weren't for those perks like the company vehicle and this and that what if i said jesse i for nine months I'm, we're gonna i'm gonna pay you and we're gonna go to the fucking grand canyon and work on a documentary about people driving dirt bikes through the fucking grand canyon right all expenses paid. You're gonna get your pills, bills paid. You'll have money put. You're you're gonna get the hone in your craft, but you have to leave your job. Well, neither what Jen would, or what? Helena would probably <laughs> want us to do that. Why is he doing this? I'm de- why is he me, doing this, you're Christian? Ask me a real question. Yo, he's being he's he's just he's being real. Why, listen, why right is he now, limiting? I'm why? in the middle of a contract negotiations for buying a house. If it wasn't for certain perks to go along, if I had to have a car payment right now, I wouldn't get approved for a loan. The only reason I'm getting approved for the loan or pre-approved, got pre-approved, is that I my debt to income ratio is low, okay. and that's only because I don't. Let's have say a six car months loan. from this is six months from now. You don't need a car. That's after I'm you tied bought. into a thirty-year loan, and yes. I have more. <laughs> yeah, bro, you don't think I'm tied into a thirty-year well, loan? Know. I know, but um, I'm living with no money right now. It the no money income. money is a uh, is one thing that really fucking. Makes me fucking nervous, dude. And at one, yeah. you know, this is like the first time in a long time that I'm like getting to a point where it's like, it's not m- as much of a worry because it's uh, there's more financial stability, and that to me is huge. Well, yeah, when you're when you're throwing out things like debt to, what is it, debt to income ratio? I'm learning a lot, dude. dude I'm learning a lot about you know, this stuff. Like, it's about time, bro. <laughs> yeah, it is. That's what I'm saying. But this is like the first time in my life where I'm like. Trying to make responsible decisions, yeah, and and work towards you know I have I have plans, dude, and this is all part of the plan. I just want you to know this about a house and a mortgage, right? There's someone in my life who it was a family member of them had a house and a mortgage, mm-hmm. didn't pay the mortgage for like ten years. What? Nobody How? ever came and kicked them out. Nobody. Are you so being just keep, serious? Keep that in the back. I sw- I swear to God. Well, that is a very keep rare that, situation. Keep that in the back of your mind. So I when you just, get when you get an opportunity like the one that so I'm gonna give you in don't future, don't pay my mortgage for ten years. I'm giving Jesse this opportunity. Just wait; it's gonna come. I'm putting that out there. So I think it would be, listen, 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 listen. Go ahead and listen. I'm, I think I'm this, listening, bro. I think this would you know that would be an awesome, awesome opportunity, and would also I would also be also also be kind of upset that you even. Ask me not because you're asking me because it would put me in a position where I'd be like fuck, dude. I an really, uncomfortable I really position want where you that. might be able to grow and live in your fucking zone. Well, yeah, that could be an awesome nine months, but what about after that? You know, I don't know. It's uncertain. The uncertainty I is what it. fucking makes me. Yeah, it I stresses love it, me dude. out, dude. I love the uncertainty. The uncertainty it is stressful. scares me, dude. So, you know? I mean, you could take. Because this opportunity is going to come. I'm going to give you the opportunity. I'm just putting it into the universe right now. A big project is going to come our way. you the works of a deal right now? A big project is going to come our way, and I'm going to make Jesse an offer that's going to tear his life apart. <laughs> and he's going to be like, <laughs> putting it out there right now. So let's, hey, let's switch gears let's here. Let's not switch gears. Let me ask you this. Riddle me this. What were you referring to when you said that I spend a lot of time and money on something that I hate? No, I didn't say it. Did I say that? Yeah. Christian? No. No, I said what? I said all all of us at one point in our life dedicate uh, time point. and resources into a job that we aren't necessarily fully like oh. like oh, I'm not I'm waking up saying, "Yeah, fuck yeah, I'm oh, going fuck to work yeah. for someone else to make someone else money to do something that I'm not super passionate about." That's all. Yeah, no. I didn't I didn't say it like that. You twisted my words. I thought no. I thought you were talking like current, current times. No, no, no. And I'm not. I'm, I would never. You know, I'm just trying to get everyone to think outside the box. Let's that's, think that's outside the, the box. Purpose no, I of the got podcast, you. you know, I'm gonna switch gears here. Switch. Um, go ahead and switch. Being it. that I'm kind of like the interviewer here, and you guys are the interviewees. Um, Speaking of which, by Howard Christian. Stern's new book. Howard Stern comes again. Dude, see, he loves Howard Stern, right? He loves... Every time I get into his car, he's got some crazy fucking radio talk show. You got to admit, that was funny the other day. It was hilarious, dude. And I'm saying, (laughs) dude, what if you had your own radio show, you had your own studio, 
audio production, fucking gear out the wazoo. And all you did all day was talk shit and make jokes, and but you engulfed that with audio production. That would be awesome, dude. Like, that would be the dopest shit. Like, you know? I would honestly like, love... Like, you could have your own XM Sirius satellite channel radio, Jesse and the Jerk-Offs or something, you know? I, I would love to do, like, it seems like it would take in... That's the title of this crazy episode. ...crazy amount of time, but, like, some of the people that work Why for him... Why is he so him, scared of hard work and time? He doesn't seem like that kind of guy. Some of the... Well, just listen, Some of the people that work for him have, like, jobs where they'll spend, like... 120 hours and they'll buy like Oprah Winfrey Oprah Oprah Winfrey's audiobook and then cut it up and t- like jamble her words around to make her say like shit that she didn't say that she That's would so never far. say but it's like they have to spend like 100 hours like editing it well, how but much that, time that do you think how much awesome i want right. to do that that's though that's months of work it's the same thing with the movie how long do you think it took to make fucking avatar or some shit like that yeah. years bro years but those guys sacrificed everything in their life to work on a project so big for a payday one day that was beyond anything that they could ever imagine so i think that that's something that everyone needs to keep their eyes on like you know working all year for me without a, a, a single paycheck, mm. you know? Mm. If it wasn't for Jen, mm. we'd be homeless, you know, and starving, you know? Shout out to motherfucking Jen. Shout out to motherfucking Jennifer Knight. So what did I let's switch gears over here, and we're going to um, we're gonna ask Christian some questions here. Go ahead. Um, I know. <laughs> well, let's, let's hear first. Let's hear first what... Um, ideally, I know there's things that you do in your life and I, I already know what they are. I know what they are. I know what the things you do in your life that you're passionate about and things that you engulf yourself in. And I, cause I'm with you when I see you doing shit and I'm like, I can't even get through to you because you're so fucking zoned in on what you're doing that like, uh, it's like, I'm like non-existent. So I already know what they are, but I want to hear you tell or maybe tell everyone what you think it is. Um, and then I'll tell you what I think it is and we can kind of compare them and, um, and then I'm going to ask you some other questions. <clears throat> yeah, so I mean, as far as passion, what I'm passionate about, you know, clearly, you know, the the, the clothing brand, you know, La Frontera, um, Frontera, La Frontera. You know, we're 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 building it, and and this is kind of like we kind of had this idea from the beginning, but now it's like finally starting to, um, n- now we're starting to see like the actual, you know, route. Like it's it's a lot clearer now what we're trying to do. We just switched over to Squarespace uh, from Shopify, so it's like a lot more. It's Squarespace is a lot more of like a blog style, you know, media content based style uh, site or layout, and so it's it's a lot more customizable. The pages, the layouts look way better. You know, at Shopify was basically e-commerce. You know, Shopify is like if you're just trying to sell stuff, that's where you want to go. It's an it's a nice layout for that for products stuff like that you can do like little bit but um squarespace you still have that the capabilities of doing uh e-commerce but it's a lot more you know content based so yeah i mean it, when, as far as passion man i you know i i love doing the write-ups you know doing um through chat thursday stuff like that reaching out to people uh and then not only that but like being able to tell their story so like with with those you know with that through thursday you know we we highlight and showcase latin influencers and creators and yeah man like you said i i can get this is probably not good but i was literally so today's thursday so we do the podcast every thursday and i do through thursdays obviously every thursday so usually i'm like literally um i have like a basis set up for it but for some reason i always wait till thursday to like actually finish it out you know do the final run through look at everything so yeah i literally was driving when when i met you guys in lake worth i was finishing it out texting and driving not not good (laughs) it was not good dude not uh el no tiene personalidad (laughs) you just say he doesn't have a personality oh (laughs) whoops it's not good it's not good but it when you're talking and and I I definitely need to stop that. But when you're talking about yeah, when you're talking about passion and like zoning out, yeah, when I'm there and then even like so I I do painting on the side. I do you know HVAC or whatever. Like even after when we're getting this site up, getting home at like ten after working all day, still I mean would go into the, you know our little office that we have and work on the site, you know until like twelve. 
go to sleep, wake up early and, and, you know, do it again. And, and it, it's just, man, it, so one thing to that, just to touch on real quick that you said, as far as like, you know, um, spending time and resources in, in a, in a company that you not don't necessarily own or like, you know, you're working for somebody else. If you're not happy with it, a thousand percent, you should like, I don't want to say you should, but definitely look towards, you know, resources out there because in today's world, it's like literally everywhere. Right. Like you're talking about with the course, all that stuff. In, in my situation, I think in Jesse's too, like when you have something that you're not necessarily like miserable, you know, doing or in, I'll just say for myself, it's hard work, man. Like I right now where I'm this new job, it's, you know, installs, dude, I'm like, literally I haven't sweat this much ever. Yeah. Besides the oil field. So, but dude, so, like in in my mind, dude, it's it's kind of weird. Like the way I see it, I I love it, man. I love you know struggling. I love you know, and I'm getting paid the best that I've gotten paid as far as you know in the industry. And so, I think for some people, you know, it, you I don't want to say you don't have to like take this like crazy leap and like you know if you have the opportunity if something pops up, definitely look at it. But you don't have to do an extreme to do what you love. So like, you know, in my yeah. case, you know, I'm, I'm doing, I'm working full time and I have the side job, but I'm still finding time to do the podcast to do the clothing brand. And dude, I'm, I'm like fulfilled, man. I'm, I'm like happy. I'm, you know, obviously it'd be cool to, to one day. And, and I think, um, I'm, I'm always looking for opportunities for that. But, you know, one thing that I've, I've kind of like tried to keep in the back of my mind is like, dude, just be grateful. Like if, if nothing happens, yeah. you know, if, if the brand doesn't blow up necessarily or, or whatever, like, dude, I'm, I'm still grateful. I, I, you know, let's say that, and it will happen Yeah, that the brand like really takes off. Right. You guys have so many fucking orders and all this shit and the money is just piling up, which is the byproduct of doing the work. Right. Right. And you were at the point where you said, and this might be a foolish question, you know, I, I might already know the answer, but the money's piling up, the orders are coming in, and you're like, wow, what we made this week is equivalent to what I made at my two jobs working 80 hours in one week. I can probably take half that time, 40 hours, and double what I'm doing with the brand and the website and the clothing line you know, increase my content creation and everything that we're working on and just engulf myself in social media, brand development, um, the clothing line, and just always be making shit about clothing and photos and videos and all that shit. Like, would you do it? Yeah. And, and one other thing to add to that is, is also the giving back aspect. Yeah. So like, you know, I, I, eventually the so my ideal situation would definitely be this everything i'm doing but getting and i'm and i'm i'm looking right now you know even with everything going on i'm i'm actively looking for you know local organizations i tried um i've tried a couple already but you know i think getting involved with the community and you know having that sense of like helping like you know giving back I, I think that would be my ideal situation i think that that's one thing that that the juice bar is lacking and um it's one thing that i want to work on and i guess you know saying it out loud is good because it's like making me realize that you know it's what we need to do but um like how do you search for like let's keep it specific for my situation because i'm trying to get something out of this too for myself that i can apply what do you think that ways are if, you know, with the juice bar and, and, you know, promoting health and wellness and all that stuff, what do you think ways that, are, that, that my team can get involved in the community and, and either give back or ways that we can expand our reach so that way people know we're there. Cause people just don't know that we're there right now. I think what you guys, so you've already done like the, um, uh, what is it called? The weekend, the, um, on Sundays, what is it? The, yeah farmer's market so i think that's huge doing farmer's markets i think um how old is uh nick if i'm not mistaken is that his name no Vinny. no yes Vinny. Vinny. okay so i mean he might i mean that he might have access to like 
he's still you know he's 18 so he still has probably connections to you know schools maybe doing something like that that would be cool like having if if you can reach out to like a school and like put something on you know like a health health wellness um just anything anything to where because you you're already doing a positive thing you you your business is all about health wellness so it's not like you're like for, you're it's not like you're going to have to force your way or um you know kind of like bullshit your way into situations just for media or whatever the case is you're already doing something positive so it's just a matter of like connecting the dots and networking is huge so you do the the farmers markets you you know talk to people you know like someone who's holding an event maybe there's someone who's holding an event like a local event already and you just see it and you you know you reach out to the person hey you know how do you feel about you know us coming out supporting um whatever the case is and then that way now i mean really once you get that one in that's all you need because now you can do events now you can host events even and, and like so while while you, at one point you're you know setting up and 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 being at someone else's event now you can have the event and have those people so it's like a mutual community and that's where i think it, it the, the whole purpose everybody is coming together for a positive thing you know if you guys are looking for like a solid organization to like donate money to I've always dreamed of opening an AIDS recovery center for people who have re- uh, received the cure to AIDS. What the? Something wrong with that man over there. Yeah. <laughs> the genius in the whole thing is that there isn't a cure for AIDS. Actually, there is. Is there? I mean, well, it's not as, um, it's not a death sentence anymore. All right, my dream's ruined. So. It's fucked. But that's good. I just I just got a few ideas just from you talking. So yeah, man, that's that that that's like what we want to the route we want to take. I mean, mo- most of the people that we're networking with right now are like out of state, California, Arizona. So it's not oh, yeah. the the ideal situation would be to to team up and like you know not only team up and be like hey you know let us come and like sell shirts like hey let us come and like. Dude, let me let me yeah, let me clean you know your time. Yeah, let me volunteer. Let me do something. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. So that I mean, I and and that's another thing is like I I think the the clothing is it's still as far as creativity it's still awesome as far as you know obviously funding the the project it's still important we still need to sell um, you know merchandise to to keep the boat running. But it's not necessarily my my number one priority. I mean, it, I'm I'm still doing ads and still you know finding new ways to to reach out and, and get exposure. But you know, I think the uh, giving back and that's one thing that we added with this new site. You know, now now we have a page where we're actually reaching you out. You guys have an LLC and all that? Not yet. Okay. Not yet. I think part of my thing w- with with um you know the small business is like the partnership aspect of it and like. I hold the majority share of the company. So like, I guess sometimes I feel like I need to do the majority share of the work, but like one person can only do so much. Yeah. You know, so it's important to have like a good team, you know? Yeah. I'm sure if like, if you address it and you like, you know, you have a good team already. So I'm sure yeah. if you, you know, say, Hey, look, man, I have this idea. I really need some help. I'm sure they probably would be super down to, you know, yeah. to, to, host an event or yeah i'm sure they'd be super down for that <sighs> shit just got deep out here boys you feel me it's funny how that conversation started and where yeah. it went and how long we talked and it's been 30 35 minutes already oh damn you know what else is a uh, a <laughs> partnership that really sucks when only one person does all the work here he goes sex Wow, dude, that's an, that's an insightful. It, Think about it. Your situation with your business and and being the only one who's doing all the fucking marketing and shit. Think about if you're having sex, and you're the only one doing anything. It's necrophilia. What the <laughs> hell? <laughs> who the fuck's into that? Seriously. What the? All right, drop the mic. Drop the mic with that one. 
<laughs> Drew doesn't even Drew got I'm the mic. Flabbergasted. Drew got the mic and he's like, dude, my brain doesn't even know how to like snap back from that one. So I guess commitment is another important part of it. You know, I'm yeah. so committed into this that like it's okay that I'm not doing exactly what I'm super passionate about, you know, and I, I, I still lose track of time when I'm inside the juice bar and it's still, it's still creative and we're spreading good stuff and we have yeah. a good product and we have a good message. And, you know, it's funny. I try to take like what Timmy Grin said mm -hmm. and like be the bully in the industry with mm -hmm. a lot of my stuff, which is cool because like people add water into their juice and like yeah. sweeteners and shit like I that. I see what you just posted actually. The, yeah. The I'm like, I'm cold like cold press. Yeah, yeah. People, People want to sell cold press shit. It's, like, it's just you know, it's one of those things where it's like we're putting in a lot of work. Yeah, and I just can't wait till like people realize that and like we can actually start you know, mm. like seeing the momentum like you guys are seeing. So, um, but anyway, did you hear that Nimbus cloud? <laughs> Got to shout out the boys at D Squared Media, yep. Danny and his team, to elevate the game for the boys. Um, hit him up for ten percent off. Small business branding, print work, logo work, web design, print work, whatever you guys need. He's been a sponsor of the podcast for some time now. Helps us in many, many ways. We appreciate his help. Use the code EDH for ten percent off the lifetime of your order. Ooh, if it's lifetime, a recurring boy. payment, if it's a recurring thing. Getting a ten percent off each payment. Um, if you like the podcast, the best thing you can do is share it with someone. The second best thing you can do is buy them a flip T-shirt. Oh, hey, the everyday hustle slash merch. Check out a couple new T-shirts we got. Christian worked on one logo with an uh, an outsourced company. Photos. Uh, those are all available now. And if you sign up for the mailing list, you're going to receive 20% off your first order, which basically gets you the t shirt pretty much at cost. So we wanted to do that for the first few weeks. We haven't had any orders yet. So if you're hearing this now and you want to order a t shirt, you're going to be the first mother flipper to get one. Ooh, so don't shit. wait because somebody else might be wearing that exclusive t shirt that Ooh. you might not have access to. That concludes the 74th pre-recorded episode coming to you from Lake Worth, Florida. Excited to drop this new video for you guys. Stay tuned on the airways and we'll see you next week. If you know anyone into necrophilia, please report it to the local authorities. Don't die.